In February of 2016, we were hired to establish a hog control program on a farm in eastern Alabama. This video covers the placement of bait site number three. Bait sites one and two on a property to the east and are the subject of our previous two videos. The farmer informed us that he had seen a lot of fresh damage in the back of this field. We conducted an on-ground recon of the field and surrounding woodline. We found a number of trails where the hogs were entering and exiting the field. We also located a water source and some bedding areas. I selected a shaded area between some large oak trees just off the edge of the field for bait site number three. This location will allow us to view the trap from a distance, have good access, and not interfere with the farming operations. On the 19th of February, we set up an automated feeder and trail camera. Pigs began to use the feeder on February 24th. For the first couple of days, the sounder of hogs fed nervously at the bait site. Watch here as they all run off at 9 o'clock, only to return at 9.01. By the 26th, video intel revealed the sounder was using the bait site on a regular basis. Using video allows us to observe the hog's body language and will help us determine when to introduce the enclosure. Seeing the sounder feeding calmly at the bait site, I made the call to build the trap the next day. We arrived mid-morning to set up the enclosure because we had only seen the one sounder and were not sure if this bait site would continue to produce. The decision was made to use a Jaeger Pro rigid panel trap. The rigid panels can be assembled and disassembled much quicker than a flex panel trap. The video intel also revealed the sounder utilized the bait site on its way to and from the agricultural field. Based on this information, we installed dual gates on this trap. I set up the mine camera and tested the gates. The sounder began to use the enclosure on March 3rd. Notice most of the juveniles and some of the adults entering the left gate of the trap, while others remain outside, still not trusting the enclosure. On March 4th, the sounder is feeding outside the right gate. The next night, a majority of the sounder is feeding inside the trap. On March 6th, the sounder arrives just before dark. Watch as this large boar starts to hesitate at the gate. The night of March 7th, they enter the left gate with little hesitation at 8.22 and depart the right gate at 10.04. The sounder arrives just before dark on March 8th and enter the right gate. It is important to notice how a majority of the first hogs to enter the trap are juveniles. A tripwire activated trap would most likely have closed before the entire sounder entered the enclosure. The hog's mist can become conditioned to avoid large metal objects in the future and will become very difficult to trap. When I received a photo from the mine camera showing the sounder feeding in the trap, the closed gate command is sent. 10 to 12 seconds later, the gate is on the ground. We arrive at the trap and dispatch the hogs with a suppressed 22 rifle. Hogs are then laid out, photographed, and the number of boars, sows, and pigs is recorded. In this video, we have demonstrated how to properly implement the three-step Jaeger Pro Capture Success Matrix. Step one, 
Condition the pigs to trust the bait site as a daily food source. Step 2. Condition the pigs to trust the corral enclosure as a daily food source. Step 3. Implement the optimum trigger device to capture the entire sounder. The education level of each sounder will dictate the amount of time between steps. Intel gathered from photo and video observation of the bait site will let you know when it is time to move to the next step. Call or visit us on the web to purchase the latest equipment or learn more about the methods and technology needed to better control feral pig populations in your area. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel to view our entire instructional video series. Once online, keep clicking and like the Jaeger Pro Hawk Control Systems Facebook page. If you have a story idea or just want to leave us a comment or suggestion, feel free to send us a message through Facebook or email us at info at